blessings. Greetings, everyone, on this uh, wonderful Easter Sunday. I'm so uh, happy to have the privilege, to, the privilege to talk to y'all right now about our Lord and Savior. If He's not your Lord and Savior, whatever's blocking you from making Him your Lord and Savior, get the obstacle out of the way and um, join in the body of Christ. With that being said, I'll be going over this wonderful event on how our Lord and Savior rose today on a day like today, some, you know, 2,000 years ago. And so I'm just going to go over a couple scriptures talking about his death, his burial, and most importantly, his resurrection, which gives us, which gives us the power to overcome in our own life and some other insights that most people don't know. So I'll be starting with um, Matthew 2750 and it reads Jesus when he had cried again with a loud voice yielded up the ghost so that's when he you know officially died on the cross at Calvary and then his burial I'm using the scripture mark 15 verse 46 and he bought fine linen talking about Joseph the man that's gonna bury that's burying Jesus and he bought fine linen and took him down and wrapped him in the linen and laid him in a se sepulcher which was hewn out of a rock and rolled a stone into the door of the sepulcher so he's the one that buried him and uh, put him in the tomb and this is the part I like right here Luke 24 verse 6 when they were looking for him and couldn't, you know, they couldn't find him in the tomb when the stone was rolled away. He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee? So, you know, they're reminding him, they're reminding them of what he said. And he said he was going to be resurrected. He said that he was going to have to be afflicted and, you know, be on that cross. He said he was going to you know, die and be resurrected in three days. They didn't understand it though, they couldn't comprehend it. At one point, you know, even his own disciples thought that he was talking about the temple when he said, destroy this temple and I will rebuild it in three days. They looked at the building and said, this guy is crazy. He's talking about destroying this building and rebuilding it in three days? Does he not know how long it took to make the building? But he was referring to his own body, his own temple. And he didn't lie, he did resurrect on the third day, on a day like today. Glory to God. And I'm happy he did and, jo and have joy because he did. Now we can overcome. You know, now we can live the blessed life. Now we can overcome Satan. You know, and uh, I, I, uh, I got led by God to talk about how, you know, Judas, Judas sold him for, you know, 30 pieces of silver. And even though Judas committed suicide, even though Judas is not going to be saved, you know, you're not going to see him in heaven. Ultimately, Judas led us to salvation because he led Jesus to the cross. So God even used his sin. God used 